If you have been paying off your student loans since the pause on them began back in March 2020, you could go back and request that. You can get a refund for any of those payments you made. Here's an example of how this will really help some borrowers. Let's say back in March 2020, someone had $10,000 left to pay on their loan, but they continued to make payments during the pause and now only owe $6,000. That borrower can request a refund for $4,000 and then they can apply for up to $10,000 in student loan forgiveness if they qualify. Remember, any individual making under $125,000 or any household making under $250,000 qualifies. And anyone who was awarded Pell Grants will get up to $20,000 in relief. If you're in a situation where you're going to get the refund based on the $10,000 or $20,000, you owe less than your cap, then it might make sense to get some of that money back. But if, if you don't, um, then I'd say keep it in there because you paid it on the principal and it will help you pay it off moving forward. Then there are borrowers who were able to pay off their entire loan during the pause. But it's unclear on the federal student aid website whether or not they could get a refund. I assume that the servicers will have records of that, whether or not they'll open up a closed account and allow you to take that refund. If you paid it off during that period, maybe they will. I mean, I mean this would suggest that they would. That, I think we'll have to see that specific scenario as it plays out with the servicers. He says it's best to contact your loan provider since you will have to request the refund through them. How you get the refund will depend on your loan servicer as well. In most cases, it will go back into your checking account and the balance will reappear on your loan. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.